if you'd like to give us a quick rundown on on the legislation and some of the background information that is useful to Australian businesses. Absolutely. And one of the reasons we're doing this particular podcast is purely because people aren't aware of the gamut of legislative requirements that sit in the background that you're probably never going to bump into unless something happens. And that's the goal of Safety Hut is to ensure that not only do you have the tools to gather evidence and traceability in regards to you doing everything that's reasonably practical for your workers and your company at large, but you've got a support network in Safety Hut in providing other tools and documentations and videos and to be able to help out if there's a issue happening. You don't need to know legislation back to front. When you see all the gamut of things that relate to a business with uh, mind numbing, it's like me trying to explain, and I'm sure in our last couple of podcasts, you've seen me uh, rattle on about legislation. Most people's uh, eyes glaze over or brain turns off, and there's nothing wrong with that, is that you focus on your production and supply. And the service I believe is groundbreaking that we provide is not only the tools, but also the network the ability to research, knowing the right people to go to, to ask the right questions, to be able to put controls in place if an incident had happened that was unforeseen and we need to be able to put something in place and have good evidence and traceability. By that support is that our little safety hub machine can get everything sorted out and give you right advice so you can make a decision. But more importantly, you can continue on with your production and supply even a significant incident that impacts your other workers is that we can advise because we we have that experience or advise of the things that can happen even if it bleeds over into uh, fair work and responsibilities we can give you the heads up and help you and work with you to be able to facilitate those things most businesses have uh, you know little things happen but there's the big ones that are a problem yeah it's a really valuable service Bruce because that complete management of safety hub means that a lot of this legislation that confuses myself isn't really, you know, it's such a time-consuming thing to understand it all. And like you mentioned, there's fair work, there's workplace health and safety, there's a bunch of requirements for businesses that a lot of businesses aren't quite aware of at the moment. So to get out and, of this podcast is increase that awareness, I guess, as well. I agree. I mean, one of the reasons that, you know, legislation has developed over the years is because like with any tool that we use, the thing that's been learned is best if you record it down and you've eliminated or mitigated or limited a a particular incident occurring is the next person coming down. If you tried to do that instruction or training buddy system, that's going to change over time. So it's like the old, uh, you know, whispering technique. You tell people down a line a particular saying to say, but if it gets to the last person, the thing that they were telling them is completely different. So having tools, whether they're, uh, you know, nowadays, especially videos, it's uh, something that uh, the Safety Hut, as we now t- are taken in big time uh, with the podcast, and we're going to be using those for toolboxes and safety committee meetings, as I've already mentioned. Where part of your team that does the research, knows where to look, knows who to talk to, to be able to firstly populate your work hub software, but secondly, to be that point of contact it doesn't matter the doesn't matter the size of your business. We're there to look after the small businesses that want to stay small and the small businesses that want to grow big, and uh, even the, the businesses that are medium to large now. Even if you just want to for, be part of our network, you know, certainly subscribe to our podcast channel. We're more than happy to have people comment and give their experiences to be able to assist us collectively in being able to help. There's lots of associations and other organisations out there to do with safety. But we're trying to be speaking for layman's terms, you know, to to make it easy to understand and, and not to worry about it, to know that someone's working with you to be able to help your organisation. And I've said before, is we're not perfect. We don't claim to be perfect. We certainly have all the tools to be able to deliver the service in a manner that's uh, expected. And uh, if mistakes are made, we learn from those mistakes. They're all recorded. And that's the whole point of a good safety system is you analyse your risk, well, identify, analyse and put controls in place. Uh, but there's the unexpected thing too, the thing you're not expecting. And a lot of people don't realise uh, is that the human element is such a big thing. You can have the most responsible worker on the face of the earth. 
and they have a bad day, whether it's a difficulty at home or whatever, and that results in distraction in a serious injury or something similar. And then you've got young workers, uh, so inexperienced, older workers, complacency. So when you have humans interacting at a workplace, even if it's something you would think is very limited risk, you know, like selling dresses in a shop, for instance, there's always the unexpected thing that could happen as well. And remembering, even if it's the impact comes from aggression from the member of the public, is that your workers are still workers, you know, and that's still an incident. Thank you for watching. This short video is part of a longer podcast that can be found on the Safety Out YouTube channel, as well as Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you found this information helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Also, if you have any Australian and New Zealand workplace and fire safety related questions that you'd like Bruce to answer on the podcast, then feel free to leave a comment below and we'll answer it in the next week's podcast. For more in-depth information and inquiries, you can also schedule a free call with Bruce directly by visiting safetyhut.com.au.